it is very very important first of all it has helped us as a country to generate a lot of scientific information which was not there before the research which has uh, been done has uh, provided us with uh, information uh, about uh, the mountain ecosystems in the country and some of this information is very very important even because even government did not have it so it is informing uh, the actions which are being uh, implemented and you know it is very important that any action or intervention that is being taken uh, to, to mitigate climate change must be science uh, based or science informed. We did not have this uh, before uh, EBA was implemented in our country. Secondly, uh, the country did not have enough resources, uh, say as a government, to invest in uh, uh, climate change issues. So it was very, very important that under such a situation, the lock people, the lock farmers within their communities or within the ecosystem should make uh, individual efforts. So uh, EBA has uh, helped the local people, the local communities to understand, first of all, climate change, uh, that it is real because there are so many people who do not know it. Uh, it is uh, something we began hearing about in around 2010. So it was a new phenomenon to many people, including the local communities. But now with the interventions which have been uh, done by EBA projects, the local people have uh, come to understand what exactly they should do on their form, uh, farms to adopt to climate change. Uh, most of these uh, projects which have been uh, carried out in EBA uh, have been used as pilot pilot projects and they have, they have helped the local communities a lot to make interventions to cope up with the climate change. So I would think that uh, EBA has been very, very important, uh, especially to the local communities. It has also brought about uh, fora where different stakeholders are interacting to understand more about climate change and also to think about what should be done uh, to, to, to mitigate climate change. Most, some of these uh, fora, like uh, the stakeholders forum, were not there before the EBA was introduced in Uganda. Uh, EBA has brought together different actors uh, both from the political leadership and from also the technical leadership. Uh, uh, it has also uh, facilitated the process of uh, mainstreaming of climate change interventions into the policies and, the, and even the legal framework. And most of the uh, information that is required to do that process has come from uh, the EBA Projects. You can now visibly see that uh, in most of the meetings we are having in the country, both at national and local level, you can see the interaction between uh, the climate change actors from the national level, from the local level, from the community level, uh, acting jointly to see that uh, uh, climate change impacts are combated. Uh, we have uh, as I said in the beginning, very, very fragile ecosystems like Mountain Elgon, where in 2010 we had a disaster. We had a landslide which killed over 300 people. So uh, this has come at a time when we need also to think about uh, disaster uh, risk reduction. So some of these projects are moving together with the disaster risk reduction. The EBA has introduced three very important tools in uh, climate change adaptation. One of them is the farm radio. Uh, farm radio is a radio system that gives uh, information to farmers uh, on what to do as far as combating climate change uh, is concerned. The other tool is uh, the Boda Boda radio. You know the border borders, these are motorcycles carrying passengers and moving around uh, throughout the day. 
and they interact with very, very many people. And they listen to radio as they move or when they are at their stages. And these are platforms that have helped a lot in disseminating information about climate change. The third one is the Tree Finder application which is uh, installed on the mobile phones and it can help uh, an individual uh, in, in finding what tree species that are needed in one area, say when they are doing uh, forest restoration or restoration of degraded areas. Uh, even those carrying out agroforestry, this application is very, very important in identifying trees that can be planted in a particular area. So the three applications, farm radio, border border radio, and tree uh, finder application have really uh, caused the revolution in this area. If you wanted to uh, advise maybe uh, farmers or foresters, whoever wants to uh, get involved in planting trees, you don't need to go to libraries or to go to the government uh, 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 libraries to look for this information. The information is just at your fingertip, handy, and you can just use your mobile phone uh, to know the tree species for all the purposes, whether you want trees for uh, the wood, whether you want trees for shade, whether you want trees for uh, conservation, you can easily find them uh, using that application, which also came with the EBA.